The song War is a counterculture era soul song having Edwin Starr as the vocalist. Not only did Starr's version of War reach the number one hit on Billboard Hot 100 chart in 1970, but it also became the most popular protest songs ever recorded. Many songs were created during the Vietnam War. Some were pro-war songs and others were anti-war songs. The lyrics of the song War, vocalized by, by Edwin Starr, make it clear that the purpose of the song was to protest against the war, especially the lines that says, War, hell yeah, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. This song attempts to describe the war as an event that is very unfavorable by referencing everything that is lost during the war. For instance, part of the song says, War means tears to thousands of mothers' eyes. When their son goes off to fight and loses their lives, this part of the song is very compelling because it carries a lot of emotion. It allows the audiences to imagine the pain of a mother that has lost the child due to war and the reference of thousands of mothers lives makes the audiences realize how disastrous war can be. From the lyrics of the song, one can construe that war affects society negatively. However, one can also see from the lyrics that war also affects individuals negatively. As it says, War has shattered many young man's dreams, made him disabled, bitter, and mean. From this sentence, we can derive a message that war not only affects an individual physically, but also mentally. I agree with the overall message of the song as it tries to tell the audience that war is absolutely good for nothing. <clears throat> Connection to the book This song, War, by Edwin Starr, features a main theme that is mutual with the book, The Things They Carry. The theme that is shared is war. War is talked about in both texts in relatively the same way. Both the book and the song talk about how war is a gruesome act that is good for absolutely nothing. The book obviously takes a little bit more of an intricate approach to the matter, but when broken down in each message into its simplest form, they both are objecting to the thought of war and what it entrails. What this means is that even though the song and the book may appeal to different audiences or genres of text, they both share the same basic foundation of protesting the theory, <clears throat> the theory of war. The Things They Carried is a very complex book when it comes to delivering its message, but a constant theme that is present is war is hell, as seen on an image previously. And the song states, Oh War, I Despise. Two very similar messages simply presented in different ways. Tone of the song. The, war, the song War starts off with a drum roll and ended with an eerie rhythm of marching soldiers emphasizing the militaristic tone. The song encompassed basic human emotions such as grief and love through simplistic lyrics. The direct and repetitive lyrics made it easier to learn and therefore generated a greater public appeal. Stars grunts, shouting, and repetitiveness made War a more effective protest song by emphasizing general frustration. How is the term portrayed through literary devices? In music, the use of literary devices in order to amplify the song's message is frequently very subtle. In the song, War, the use of different literary devices leads to a very protesting and strong tone, which causes the listener to receive the message very clearly through the chorus. War, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. A literary device that is used multiple times for the song is onomatopoeia. The sound effect used in what I understand to be the popular chant among war infantry, huh, this specific shout can be heard in multiple different types of media discussing war, movies, books, etc. Edwin Starr utilizes it similar to a comma. Between the words war and yeah in the chorus, instead of a short pause due to the use of a comma, he inserts the word huh to split each word. This gives the song a very war-related feel and helps amplify the tone of the song that is expressed through the lyrics. The question we'd like to ask our audience today after our presentation is, the song War by Edwin Starr is regarded as one of the best rally songs during the 1960s that assisted the hippie protest of the Vietnam War. What was your impression of its message? And um, another question would be, what is the effect of war to individuals? 